TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down four. NASDAQ is up 19. S&Ps are off four. Got some nice volatility out here in the marketplace, folks, uh, since the 2 p.m. Uh, Fed statement, as well as Powell still, st still talking. Uh, bottom line is that uh, what you have is uh, you have status quo. Uh, he's saying that there's not a reason to go up in rates, not down in rates. Gold. Gold contracts down $7.50 trading at $12.78. We have silver down 29 cents, 14 dollars 61 cents. Light sweet crude down 32 cents, 63 dollars 59 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note down two ticks, 123.19. The 30-year up six at 147.21. Let's get over and take a look at that 10-year first. So, volatility out here big time inside these markets. We had the 10-year already hit 124. 125, 124.04, and what you're going to have here, folks, you're going to have volume on, on the on the spike. So, bottom line, this bond market's not done going down. You know, we just took out a swing point with 1.5 million versus 1.3. So, those rates continue to want higher price. We get over, we take a look at the 30 year. That's the same setup inside the 30 year. 270,000 contracts. We hit 148.12. You're giving it up on price. You're at 147.22. Same type of setup, though. You have volume behind the move. When you get volume behind the move, particularly on Fed days or anything like this, most times you back down and then you go right racing right back up after that level. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? King dollar is going to be uh, the same type of setup. Now, what you had with King dollar, we had King dollar reject lower price. Uh, that was at 96.870. That being said, this is only the second time that we actually did get an expansion of King dollar. So I expect King dollar, just as the bond market will be going higher to try to test that level, King dollar will come right back down the other side. Uh, we'll see where this closes out. Uh, if it closes out at the high of the day, uh, <laughs> it, it very well is going to go higher versus lower before coming back down to test that lower level. S&Ps, bottom line, you get a sideways move with the S&Ps. SPY out here, you know, got to a new all-time high. Bottom line, off that high somewhat. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. And the NDX, even with Apple, with good numbers, uh, bottom line, just can't ha handle higher price. Stay right there, folks. You can expect the next 60 minutes to stay volatile in the marketplace. Lots of numbers coming out after the close. To recap, we have the Dow Industrials down 8. NASDAQ is up 17. S&Ps are off 5. Coming right back. <laughs>